Look at this. You can barely even see me. I made, um, like, um, <laughs> I don't even know what to call this. A wall? A barrier? I'm, like, just blocked in by all these products here. Well, welcome to this year's 2020 Holiday Tech Guide. That's right. These are gifts you can buy for a loved one, for a friend, for yourself. It doesn't matter. Lots of cool stuff here. A lot of it isn't necessarily brand new products. I will be talking about some, and there are definitely more items than what I have displayed right over here. But I would like to just give you some ideas because I know that people asked me this year what I wanted for the holidays, and I had no idea where to start. And I realized I actually have quite a bit of cool stuff. And as a content creator, I find it hard for people to shop for me sometimes <laughs> because I tend to buy a lot of stuff for myself. But I thought it would be awesome to share my ideas with you guys as to what you could buy not only your tech loving friends, your fellow content creators, your fellow filmmakers and photographers, but maybe even yourself for the holidays. Why don't we jump right into this? So I know a lot of people break down their holiday gift guides by price. So they might have like, you know, gifts under $100, gifts under $200, gifts under $500 and so on. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try to categorize things maybe by, you know, home office and home accessories, cameras and lighting, and so on and so forth. So let's get started with, what are we going to start with today? Let's start with for the home and office. So we got this guy right over here. That is the Google Nest Mini. Uh, I was never really sold on the idea of these whole, what do you want to call them? Home pods. You know, there's like the Alexa Mini, or Alexa Mini, Home Alexa. I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know what they're called. Apple has a new like HomePod or something. So there's a lot of different ones like these. So I think it's been around for a while. And like I said, never sold on it before. I did get it for free from Spotify actually for signing up for one of their paid plans or something along those lines. And now after having this for a few months, I would absolutely buy this. And I think it's a great gift. So you can pair a lot of smart devices to it. And so you can give voice commands. So you can say something like, Hey Google, turn on my office lights and it'll turn them on as long as you have, you know, smart light bulbs, smart you know, plugs, all that kind of stuff. You could program it for different users. So you can say, Hey Google, good morning. And it'll tell you, you know, the weather, the news all catered to you. So there's a lot of cool features that this thing has. So I think this is an absolutely great piece of tech for your tech lovers out there. Then we're going to jump on over to your desk setup. This is the MX Master 2S mouse. Now, this is not the newest, most current model. I believe the MX Master 3 is the newest, um, but this is almost the same thing, and you can actually get this for a little bit cheaper. So I don't necessarily think there's a huge difference between the MX Master 2S and the MX Master 3. So I would argue that it would almost be better to get this one, because you can save a little bit of money and maybe even get a couple additional gifts as well. So I think this is absolutely a great mouse. A lot of people swear by this, a lot of content creators, a lot of programmers. Um, so it's it's just an all-around great mouse. It's super comfortable and ergonomic. It has a lot of cool features. You can pair this to multiple devices, I believe, up to three at a time. So sometimes I work with my iPad set up beside me on my desk. So if I wanted to switch over from my main desktop to, for the mouse to control my iPad, I just hit a little button underneath it, hit number one, and it goes over to my iPad. Once I'm done, I hit the button again, and it goes on over to my desktop. So super easy to switch devices, and it is just an all around great mouse. So highly, highly recommend this one. Then to go along with that, this right here is a great keyboard. Now I know it comes with, you know, its own little mouse in this box here. Um, so, you know, I wouldn't necessarily use this one. Nothing wrong with it, it's just a plain standard mouse. So it is great for if you're traveling, if you just want to toss a little, you know, lightweight, small portable mouse in your bag with you. But the keyboard, I think, is what is fantastic. So it's not super fancy, doesn't have a ton of features, but it is very sleek. It's nice matte black look to it. And it's just, it's got great battery life. Like I, I don't think I've changed the batteries once in the, I believe, the year. I've had it for a year. So in the year I've had it, I have not had to switch the batteries on this thing. So this is just a great all around sleek looking, great keyboard. All right, next we're going to also show you something for your desk. And that is this little iPhone or smartphone stand for your desk. So it is an adjustable height. So you can just slide up the bar and it goes a little bit taller. You can put it down shorter and it also swivels. So you can change the angle that your phone is at. So let's say you're standing up at your desk or even like, you know, in the kitchen and you don't want to, you know, you're cooking, you're baking, you want to have a recipe on there. You can just angle your phone more towards you. So it's easier to see. And then when you're sitting down, 
you can just change that angle right back so it is more flat and face on for when you are sitting. So this is quite inexpensive. You know, it's not like, I don't think it's made out of metal or I think it's got some metal parts, but some plastic. So it's not like the most durable thing out there, but this is a great little stocking stuffer or just a little add-on gift if someone is looking for something like that. Next, we are going to go, next we'll grab this guy right here. Also, similar type item. This is a fast wireless charging stand. So this is probably more for your iPhone and your Apple Watch. So it does have this little part on there that your Apple Watch charger goes right into so that you can mount your Apple Watch on there. So it kind of acts like a stand for your Apple Watch. It'll have it like lying down on the side so you can still see the screen. So when it's on there and it's charging, it activates the nightstand mode so you can see the time. So it's pretty cool. And also for the phone, this is a, just a typical standard wireless charging pad right there. So all you gotta do is put your phone in there and it starts to charge. So I think that's fantastic. It's good for either your desk or your nightstand. Um, I have mine currently at my nightstand actually by my bedside, but this is also great for at your desk. So during the day when you're working and you wanna charge your phone, but still have it propped up so you can see everything like notifications coming in, emails, whatever else it is. Um, I think that is a great sleek looking accessory to have on your desk that can also charge your phone and watch. Great, great product. And we've got this little guy right over here. Now I know it looks like the actual official Apple pencil, but it is not. This is just, it's called a active stylus pen. So it is made for the iPads. I think the newer ones, the iPad Pro, the iPad Air, and I believe the other latest um, just standard iPads. It does not have all of the crazy features and functionality of the Apple Pencil. It doesn't have the pressure sensitivity, but if you are just somebody who uses your iPad for productivity, if you like to take notes, you like to you know do little sketches but aren't like an artist and aren't gonna be doing anything crazy, um, this is super useful. I make all kinds of notes on my iPad. I plan out all my YouTube videos. I do a lot of other planning on there, note taking, I do expenses. So I like to draw and write things out, but I went through a million notebooks and it's so hard to keep track of them. It's so hard to like always find what you're looking for by flipping through pages, flipping through books. So I like to keep all my note taking on my iPad. So having something like this, it's a lot cheaper, like quite a bit cheaper than buying an actual Apple Pencil. So if you don't wanna fork over that kind of cash, but you want a similar type experience, this is a great way to go. It comes in multiple colors. Um, my wife got hers in white. I got mine in matte black. It's super sleek, super awesome looking. I think it comes in a couple of the colors. So all in all, I think this is a great little tool. And before we switch out of home tech, this is just a good old PlayStation 4 remote. So I know the PlayStation 4 is not the newest console with the PlayStation 5 having just recently come out, but that is a much more expensive console. It is hard to get right now. I'm pretty sure they're sold out. So there's nothing wrong with getting people gifts for their current consoles. So people always have use for more game controllers, whether you wanna play with more friends or family, or if you know your controller is worn out or broken, Getting an awesome PS4 remote control, I think is also a fantastic, great gift. Okay, so now we're gonna switch gears to cameras and lighting. So, why don't we, here we go. Let's start off with the camera. And this is not one that you would necessarily expect somebody to be promoting for a 2020 holiday gift guide. But like I said earlier, not everything here I'm promoting is necessarily a brand new product. So if you know somebody who's looking to get into YouTubing, vlogging, even any kind of filmmaking, this is still a great little camera. It's the Sony a6300. It's the camera I am actually currently still using. It's a few years old, but they do still sell it. They do still make it. And I do think it's a fantastic camera to get you going. And, and it can still be used in a professional setting. I use it all the time. So you don't have to fork over like four or five, six thousand dollars on a new camera if you want to get into this whole field, if you want to start making videos. So getting something like this shoots in 4K and it actually is recording in 6K, I believe, and downsampling to 4K. So the quality of the footage is just like fantastic. So it doesn't have a lot of all the other bells and whistles that fancier cameras have. And it is not a full frame sensor. It is only an APS-C sensor, so it's a crop sensor. 
But other than that, this thing is fantastic. You can also rig it out. I do have a video on my channel. You can click on, I think the little card is gonna pop up right over here to check out how you can fully rig this thing out. So it'll be a much more professional setup that can actually help you get by some of the pitfalls of this camera, like, you know, overheating and some battery issues. But all in all, this is a great little camera. And I think, you know, it's a great way to get started in filmmaking in 2021. Now to go along with that, this is a great monitor or field monitor right here. So the monitors on the back of the camera, quite small, you know, even if they flip out, they're still not great for seeing. So having something like a field monitor is going to make filmmaking a lot easier. So whether you are doing YouTube, whether you are creating client videos, whatever it is, having a field monitor is going to make things so much easier for you. So I recently have reviewed this monitor right here. Um, you can also click that card right up here to check it out, but it's a great monitor at an entry level price, but it does have a lot of pro level features. It has a touchscreen, it has focus peaking, it has support for LUTs actually. So you can load LUTs on an SD card, put it in here, and you can look at what you're filming with LUTs applied to it. So there's lots of cool stuff you can do with this monitor right here. So all in all, this is a great gift option as well. And to accompany your regular camera for filmmaking, if you are a mobile phone shooter, you can use something like this. This is the Zhiyun Smooth X. So it is a gimbal for your smartphone. So if you like to vlog when you're out and about in the world, but you don't bring, you know, an actual camera along with you, this thing right here is great. So it'll help stabilize and smooth out all your footage. So as you're walking, as you're holding out your camera to film yourself, this thing right here will make that so much easier for you. It's very lightweight, it's durable, it's portable. This thing just folds up and you can just toss it in your backpack. So I think all in all, this is a great little gimbal for if you are a mobile phone shooter. Awesome little product. Now let's move on to some lighting. So I have a few options here. So let's, let's start off with this guy right here. So this is a Momin, Momin, I'm not sure how to say that properly, but Momin. Uh, photography fill light so you can use it for photography or for your videos as well um, it is quite small it's a very small portable light not super bright not super powerful but it does get the job done it is not an rgb light so you cannot change colors but you can change the color temperature so you can go from cool white all the way to warm white it covers the whole spectrum of the warm to cool so you know it's a it's a great little sturdy light it has a magnetic back so you can just stick it on metal objects as well so all in all this is a great little pocket portable light in the same category as that we have the pocket light or falcon eyes f7 mini so this guy right here is also a fantastic light. So it is about the same size, I believe, as the moment light that I just showed you. So once again, not the most powerful light, not the brightest light out there, but this does have full RGB support. So you can pick any color you want that you can set this light to. So it does have the standard, you know, different color temperatures as well. So you can change it from all the way from cool to warm, but yeah, you can choose any color you want. It also comes with an app that you can control it. You can, I believe, take a photo and sample a color in your photo or in your scene, and you can match the color to that. And it also has a lot of those, you know, fancy effects as well. So you can like mimic um, police siren, the lights, you can do lightning, you can do a television flicker. So you can do a lot of cool things with this light as well. So this is also a fantastic little pocket portable light. And jumping on over to something a little bit bigger, this is the Pocket Light or Falcon Eyes F7. So it's a bigger portable light. If you want something that's more versatile, I would say this is the way to go. It is a super sturdy build. It has all the same features. So it's got full RGB support. You can change the color temperature from cool to warm. It's got a magnetic back so you can stick it to things. It's got all you know 15 or 20 different effects built into it as well. It also comes with a diffuser and a honeycomb grid. So this thing is just loaded with features. So this is also fantastic. My friend actually just got one of these. He just recently got into shooting his figures. He's a figure collector. So he likes to set them up in little scenes and stuff. They're like those lifelike figures of like Marvel characters, Star Wars, DC, all that stuff. So he watched my review video of this guy and he was sold. So got this light and he's loving it so far. So I think this is a great little light. And before we switch gears, 
we've also got this little desktop tripod. It's not in a fancy box or anything, but this thing is super simple to use. You can put your camera on it, you can put a light on it, and you can just, you know, put it on a desk, put it on a shelf, put it anywhere you want. And it's just a super sturdy build to it. It's like, it's all metal. And, you know, I, I feel like, like my camera, my lights would be completely safe and secure on this thing. So I think it's also a great little stocking stuffer or a little bonus add-on that you can get someone. All right, now, what gift guide would be complete without some Apple products? So I am going to show you, obviously, the Apple AirPods. Now, I believe this is like the very first version here. I haven't upgraded mine yet, but they do still sell, I think, a similar model to this. It looks the same, the cases looks the same, the design of the actual AirPods itself, I think, still looks the same. Um, there could be a couple extra little features on it. I think the case now has wireless charging, uh, which is a big bonus. So I would just, you know, I would recommend this absolutely. I use my AirPods all the time. I use it for phone calls. I use it for listening to music, watching videos. I use it on my phone. I use it on my iPad. I'm just constantly using it, constantly, constantly using it. So I think AirPods are fantastic. I also think the AirPods Pro are, you know, another great gift option. Something I wish I had. I haven't had the chance to get my hands on them yet. Um, it's definitely on my wish list, but I've heard everybody just absolutely rave about those things. They've got noise canceling features. I think the sound quality is great. I just think it's a, a beefed up version of the standard AirPods. So whichever route you want to go, I think either way, you're going to make somebody super happy if you get them a set of AirPods. Next, we're going to go with good old iPhone. Now, as you can see, this is not the latest version of the iPhone. Um, and I think that's okay. I don't think you necessarily have to always get the latest version. You could save a little bit of money by getting the iPhone 11, 11 Pro. I really don't think there's a huge difference between the 11 and the 12 line. Um, the 12 did just come out, but I don't know. I, I feel like everyone's raving about the cameras on those things, but unless you're like, you're quite serious about shooting with your iPhone camera, and unless like you want to just spend like a ton of money getting the iPhone 12 Pros, um, you know, I don't think it's necessarily worth it spending extra money to get just a regular iPhone 12 over the 11. So I'm pretty sure you can find some good deals on iPhone 11s right now is what I most recently got and I'm loving it so far. So I really didn't see much else or much more reason to get an iPhone 12 this year. So you can save a little bit of money while also getting an awesome product. So iPhone 11, definitely still recommend. Also, I would say the Apple Watch is a fantastic gift as well. I was also one of those people who wasn't quite sold on having a smartwatch back in the day when they first came out, but since getting one, that's just completely changed. I think it's great to have all your notifications on there. It has a lot of cool health and tracking features, so you can track your steps, you can track your heart rate, you can track a lot of other fitness goals of yours. So I just think the Apple Watch is a super fantastic companion to your smartphone. And it also looks cool. Like, you know, who doesn't want to rock an Apple Watch, right? So I, I think an Apple Watch is great. There's, a, I believe the Apple Watch 6 is the most recent one, as well as the Apple Watch SE. Um, if you're not as concerned about the health features, you can just get away with getting the Apple Watch SE. You save a little bit of cash. So I think either way, either route you go, the Apple Watches are going to be a fantastic gift as well. All right, now we're going to jump to the big boy here. This is the iPad Pro. So I think any iPad would also be a fantastic gift this year. It is on the much more expensive side, but you know, once again, gifts can range from cheap to expensive. So I'm showing you a good old fashioned expensive option if you really want to make someone happy this year. The iPad Air is also a fantastic one to get. I did a video on it about a month or two back when they first announced them. So you can check it out right here as well to see what is better to get between the iPad Air and the iPad Pro. But let me tell you how much I absolutely love this thing. I got this as a replacement for my laptop and it literally did just that. Now it's not my only computer. I do have a desktop still which is what I do my like, you know, hardcore video editing on, but almost everything else, this thing was able to completely replace my laptop. So I cannot slow this thing down. I have a million apps open. I have two browsers, I've got Safari and Chrome open with like 30 tabs each on it. And this thing just keeps chugging along. It doesn't really get hot, it doesn't really make noise. I can't slow this thing down. So it's an absolute beast. It's a workhorse of a machine. It's just a fantastic tablet. So if you get it with this guy right over here, that is the 
Magic Keyboard, then it is 100% a laptop replacer. So I know this isn't cheap. It's quite expensive considering it's just like a keyboard case if you want to call it that. But I think everything about it's great. It's got the built-in trackpad. It's got the, the nice feel to the keyboard, unlike some of the recent um, Apple laptops like the MacBook Pros. It's just easy for it to snap on and off with magnets when you want to take your iPad on and off of it. So all in all, when you use the iPad Pro or iPad Air with the Magic Keyboard, that's just like amazing, beautiful. So I, I would highly recommend to get this. If you know somebody has an iPad Pro or an iPad Air, or if you're gonna get both, you wanna get them crazy awesome, <laughs> amazing gift, definitely recommend getting this as a laptop replacer. And there you have it. That is my 2020 tech holiday gift guide. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this helps give you some good ideas if you're looking for gifts for a loved one or friend, family member, whoever it is who happens to be a tech lover, content creator, filmmaker, photographer, whatever it is they do. People who love tech, I think this is a great set of options for you to start looking into. Also, before I let you go, I want to point out I wore my fancy Christmas sweater. I'm not going to call it ugly Christmas sweater. I'm going to call it fancy Christmas sweater. I absolutely love Home Alone. So, Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. <laughs> I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So, I just wanted to say Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, whatever it is you're celebrating this year. I just want to make sure everybody takes the time to be thankful for all that we have. I know this has been a very, very hard year. And I know, you know, we're talking about a lot of expensive products and stuff here. And I know a lot of people are, are way less fortunate, aren't looking at getting gifts right now. People are just trying to get by and survive. So I just really hope everybody takes the time to appreciate what we have. Make sure you tell your family and friends that you love them. Make sure you spend time with them in a safe way, you know, virtually, video chats, all that fun stuff. Just make sure you take that time to just really stop and think about what really is important in life, right? It's not all about gifts, it's not all about spending money, it's not all about gadgets. You know, just make sure you stay safe, make sure you stay healthy, and let's have a good end to this year. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button down below and don't forget to subscribe. Also, while you're at it, don't forget to hit that little bell notification icon to get notified every single time I drop new videos like this one. Trust me, there's lots more cool stuff coming your way, so you're gonna wanna stay tuned. I'm Alex Perry, thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.